that's all the way up. Signed in. Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. Oh, uh, we're gonna play some Corpse Party. One of my boys gave me a $75 gift card. So, I went a little shop and spree at the store. Bought a shitload of games. And Corpse Party was one of them. This is a game I've seen a lot of people like talk about. It's like a it's a classic. So I want to see like how good it is. This is a work of fiction, whatever. So I want to see how good it is since everyone hypes this game up. Ooh, okay. Uh, license published by Extreme Games. Message speed normal. Is this a Japanese, Chinese? Wait, no. I think this is Chinese. No, this is Chinese, and this is Japanese. Yeah. Since I'm a filthy English speaker. New. Chapter one opening. Yes. Oh, it has my time. My pride. Bunch of letters. I don't think, bro, I can't read that, bro, but I still love her with all my heart. What kind of simp energy is this? Okay, that's bright. It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. For the autos, next. Running down the stairs. The kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and fell down and she died. You've all heard the stories, no? Before Sigaraki Academy was built here, there was another school on this property. Heavenly Host Elementary School, it was called. Such a horrible thing to happen. The principal was completely devastated. He cared for the school almost as if it were his own child, you see. The one thing led to another after the incident. And ultimately, a decision was reached, the school was to be shut down. <clears throat> the principal was so... St struck with grief, losing his precious child, that on this day of its closure, he climbed up to, the, uh, up to its roof and threw himself to his death. Or so the story go goes. Two, two, four, six, there's seven kids here. <gasps> People thought Heavenly Host was cursed, you see. This is just the latest of many deaths to, uh, to occur there. That's why it was torn down. However, uh, they say the teacher who fell down the stairs still has no idea she's dead even to this day. And on rainy evenings like this, after 
uh, after our school days come to an end. Some claim she roams these uh, darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds, just after 7 o'clock. Uh, Ayumi. Uh, that's when she appears, always... Accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark at night. Knock knock. You'll hear from the blackness followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still in here? And then... The axe made me... Jesus Christ, well, I got an achievement one rainy day after school, not for the faint of heart. Satoshi. Eek. It's a black bro. You a bitch. Satoshi, pull yourself together, don't scare us like that. No. But it was scary. I don't like this. This shouldn't be happening. Not bad, Shinozaki. You had me going there for a minute. It was me. I've been staying right here the whole time. This is a real blackout. Does anyone else hear that? Mayu. How old is this bitch? She looks younger than everyone else. Sounds like it's coming from the music room. I'll call this fucker Mori. I'm not reading that whole fucking name every time. Oh. All present. Oh, okay. Cause that's like everyone's thought. <laughs> No way. First the black and now the door. Bro, Sato. What the hell's wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself. And get off of me. That's my chest. I can see where I was grabbing. I told you it was a bad idea to stay here so late and tell ghost stories. Aren't you gonna get the door? The girls all trembling in fear. Doesn't it just break your heart to see them like that? Why don't you go get it then, bitch? So why don't you get the door? Well, it doesn't break my heart. That's cold, man. Oh, wait. Wait, is that HP? You can't turn, so it's only like this, okay. There's a door here. And then there's the door. Let's go check this. Actually, let's see if we could take the light. Let's go check this door. The knock is coming from the door. Oh, okay. I thought I could check that door. Shiver, shiver, shiver. 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 Alright, fuck y'all then. Is anyone still here? Go home, children. Nozaki is a bitch, bro. Hey, 
Your timing couldn't have been more perfect. Man, these people are bitches. I was not sitting here too long ago myself, so when it comes to the seven wonders of <clears throat> Kisaragi, hi, I'm pretty well versed. I thought six your extras prices, but yours was a whole different uh, level altogether. It was pretty impressive, I could have never hoped to compete with that. Wait, I thought my name was fucking Sarashi or some shit like that. Machida. Machida. I just love it when my scares so thoroughly effective. It's simply delicious. Hey yo? Never heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak anyway. Sorry about that. Mushida. 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 I'm retarded. Why was I saying it fucking like that? Mushida. But I can't deny your action was pretty amusing. People are fucking dicks. I'm pranking aside though. I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall. Who's come to see you? Yuka, hello everybody. Seeing Moshida forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka's come all this way to deliver it. Said about that, Yuka, thanks. Nice to meet you. my brother's always like this. I had no idea such cute little sister. Satoshi. Satoshi. Really? I never told you? You never said a word. You sure love your big brother, don't ya? Seems like she's met. I swear this mouth of yours is the craziest thing. Alright everybody, it's past 7 years and it's about time you head home. Aww, do we have to? Shouldn't we clean up all the red bean cafe stuff first? It'd be a shame to leave it so soon. Yeah, with the classroom like this, it's it almost seems like uh, we could hold another culture festival tomorrow. Isn't that what you're supposed to be doing here in the first place? You promised me this room would be ready to go by the time I got here, as I recall. It's called the capping. Let's get in late. How about you leave it for tomorrow? Yes, man. Suzumoto, I know how hard it is to say goodbye. But I wish you the best of luck at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Thanks. Don't be the same around here without you. Suzumoto, you'll make new friends in no time, I'm sure of it. It's like you're moving that far away from winter break. Well, I'll we'll make sure you come visit. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> you guys. Hey, brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Aww. Thank you so much, all of you. I'm so grateful to have you as friends. You all have a special place in my heart, and you always will. Take care out there. I will be watching over you from above. Earth. My spirit will guide your path. Mayu, come on. Let's see that smell of yours. Me too. Me three. Me four. <laughs> hey, 
big brother. Mm. Your friends are really great, you know? They sure are. Gimme, give gimme, give I wanna see. Send to my phone, would you? Mor Mori? Of course I'll send to all you right now. Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try it? It's called uh Psycho Sa Sakiko Ever After? Who's Sachiko mm, with the paper do I is this what are your occult things? Yeah kind of this is well it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Oh, it's a charm. That, sound, that sounds mad gay, I won't front. Yep, a mystical charm. Awesome. I told the one to do it. I think had her charm. That girl was totally bonkers with that kind of stuff. Yes, it can't hurt. You bet. What, is he gonna fucking curse us all or some shit? Alright, we're ready to go. Every bat, everybody gather in a circle. And in your head, repeat the word, Sako, we beg of you. Seven. Eight, nine, yeah, repeat it nine times. Alright, you'll flub it a little, just make sure you don't, uh, stop part way through. You have to say a time for every person present, no more, no less, or the charm will fail. Uh, hmm? What happens if it fails exactly? Failure is not an option, just give it your all. Yeah, uh, okay. All right, let's get started. Everybody remember the charm? I beg of you nine times. Ready? Begin. Yep, yeah. If we don't get off, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. <laughs> okay. Okay, now everybody reach towards the paper, uh, do I, paper, oh, the paper doll, I'm retarded, bro, why did I thought that was like two separate eyes, uh, towards the paper doll and grab a hold of it, anywhere you can. There's no way the fucking teacher can grab it from there, got it, I think. Like this? Oh, it's the little one bottom right. That's cool. Exact. Now hold on really tight. Tightly. Uh, dig your nails into if you have to. Just don't let go. We're going to pull on until it rips apart. Onto nine pieces, okay? Count of three. One, two, three. Mice and ever not just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it into your student ID holder or your wallet, basically anywhere you don't yeah. It won't get lost. It's a paper doll. Pretty cool. Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shizaki-san. I'll treasure this. I promise consider this, uh, our promise will definitely hang out together again. Definitely. <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. Yeep. Oh, Naomi. Naomi. Uh, an earthquake. Uh, 
More she is a bitch. What the heck this is like? Holy crap, big. And the teacher looking fine, I won't lie. Big brother, you could take my hand. Everyone stay calm and get on your desks until it passes. You know how strong an earthquake's gotta be to fucking have shit from the ceiling fall down? Under the desks now. Uh. Is this for real? Bro, get out the fucking door! Oh god, I'm falling. Listen, I'll let it slide. We have to get through like 20 minutes of dialogue before I can hopefully start to fucking properly play. Ugh. Ouch. Ow, my leg. I can move it, but it's just a sprain. Huh? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. It's so dark, I can barely see a thing. Is this the school? Oh, lights coming on. What's going on? Oh, I got an achievement. When the shaking stops. Where is this place? Where the hell is this place? <laughs> Playing as Naomi. Gasp. Is that Psycho? Isn't good. What do I- oh. Jesus. Oof, that really hurt. My ankle is in pretty bad shape. Still walking pretty fine. Psycho, psycho. Thank God she's still breathing. Wake up. What's up? Can you what's up, man? I thought you were done. Where? Where are we? What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Button. These windows are sealed up tight. And I thought it was pitch black out there. I can't make heads or tails of what I'm seeing. What the hell is going on? Well, this is certainly a school building. This is why you don't fuck around with like voodoo or magic shit. Don't the desk seem unusually small to you? Like in elementary school? In elementary school? It can't be, can it? Bro, why is the theme kicking in? What is it? The printer on the wall. It's Sagaraki High. Heavenly Host Elementary. No tall faculty and students. What the hell are we? And where are our friends and miss you? Chill, why you got- Calm down, Seko, don't get so worked up. Take a deep breath, goddamn. Sorry. We just stood there in silence, hand in hand. It was the first time in my life that I've been shaken so hard I could hear my 
my teeth chatter. I'd become completely lightheaded and couldn't even think <coughs> straight, much less uh, wrap my head right. I could tell myself it's all a dream, some horrible nightmare, no matter how hard I wished for it, I just couldn't wake up. And the silence was the worst part of all. I couldn't take any more. I had to say something, anything. Give me some. Give me like an option. To say something. Hey, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on. But how about we try finding a way out of here? A way out? We can't just stand here, quivering in terror, waiting to do something. You know. Besides, I don't want to be uh, in this creepy place any longer than I have to. But the windows are all sealed shut. And I don't just mean they're stuck or locked. It's like they're decorations on the wall. I don't even think they can open. Is it even possible to leave the building? I'm not sure, but there might be an uh, entrance way or emergency eggs or something. Some means of getting outside. You're right. And it's a lot better than just standing around. I feel like I'm gonna go all alone in here if we keep this up. Okay, first step is to leave this room. We've got to keep our spirits up after all. It's probably not just the two of us here. So this up here on here somewhere, right? Yeah, we can reunite with them. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, okay, I like this music. Or the soundtrack. We'll find a way out of here together. That's the spirit. I have no reason to believe any of what I just said. I was probably delirious, to be honest. But if I didn't act, I'd start to go mad. I'd start to scream at being consolable. Character introductions. When you're done, exit. Okay, so. Oh, I actually like this. We can look at our character. These guys. A 17 year old student in uh, Isagarak, uh, Kaisaraki Academy Senior. Uh, high class 2 9. Uh, fairly average but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Okay. Despite his timidness, he's very uh, personable and open. Which complements his general sense, uh, sen uh, fuck, <laughs> sensitivity uh, towards others to make a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is considerably the only person whom differs judgment. Uh, Naomi Nakashima. Nakashima. Six-year-old student in Kusaraki, high class two nine, and a classmate of Satoshi's. Seeing uh, since junior high, frequently greets with, "Oh, not you again." Why? Wow, why was that like in a in a quote? Like, I, like I should remember that. <clears throat> Having lost her father a few years back, good. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Naomi and her mother now depend on on other moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and ch cheerful. That's good. Her home life has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying mid for acceptance to medical school. Not good for her. Psycho Shinohara, a 16 year student in Kisara. Kizaraki High Class 2-9 lives very close to Naomi and generally uh, accompanies her to and from school each day. A free spirit, she often says or does things that take others by surprise. She's usually forgotten due to her good nature. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her three younger siblings at all. And a working father. As such, she basically serves as a head of a, the household. Well, that's nice. 
Psycho seems to be regard Naomi as a kindred spirit, and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their many dreams for the future. Okay. So far, there's no one here that I actually dislike. Sato Ashi's 14 year old sister. She's 14? She looks fucking 12 or 11, bro. What? You fucking pe bro, why why fucking a Japanese style game? I think this is this is a Japanese game. Is it? I don't know, but why fucking in Japan style games or Japanese games? The fucking characters just look older than they actually are. Like this bitch or or either. They look like they're older, but they don't look their age or they're young. You know what I mean? Like if they if they're supposed to be young, they look older. And if no wait. If their age is older, they look younger, but if their age is younger, they look older. That may suck my dick. Uh, she's in 8th grade. Yeah, ain't no way she's an 8th grader. At Kizaraki Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much, and acts much, much younger. And the Moshida household, Yuka's always been their princess, generally getting her way. And thus, never really shedding her ch uh, childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow up often, attempting to act older or braver than she is, or sometimes get her into trouble. Okay. This is my guy, Sakutu Sakutoro Moshi. <laughs> 16 year old student in Kisaragi High. Tia and he's been in theater club with Mayu since middle school and developed a real closeness with her. He finds socializing for anyone else to be more trouble than it's worth, however, however, so he typically regards his classmates with indifference. Takes great pride in his family heritage and reacts violently if anyone makes fun of his name. The only exception is the nickname Mayu's given him, Shig. Okay, so he's a serious guy. I like how they make your fucking thing like an eyeball, that's pretty funny. You. She's 23? Eh, actually, she looks her age, I won't lie. A 23-year-old 11th grade English teacher at Kizaraki High just started the semester after passing her, her teaching exam. And is eager to make an impression. Although not as perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal don't know what the fuck that means, and enthusiasm are infectious, and her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Also serves as a teacher's assistant during homeroom for class two night and really seems to have connected with the students there. Yoshiki, Yoshiki, Kizunama, Kishinama, Numa, a 17-year-old student in Kizaragi High uh, Class 29, often regarded as sarcastic and uh, cynical, but as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Although generally not one to partake in events, his fondness for Sa Sashi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now again if it either is involved with intense drama at home uh yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on the small apartment where he lives alone oh, I fuck, so his response i actually fuck with him once again she does not look 17 she looks like fucking 14 or some shit 17 year old appointed representative of Kisaragi uh, high, uh, high class 29 often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and uh, revels in hearing them scream. Jesus. It's uh, generally believed that she carries candles uh, and other horror goods with her at all times just in case of an opera of important uh, presence itself. Use Opportunity presents. Uh, in truth, however, Iomi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her own fear of the unknown, which rivals even Sata, uh, Sarch, 
Satoshi's in its intensity. Oh, so she's a coward. She's just like him, but she just hides it. I fuck with it. Hide your weakness. I don't know. Uh, when faced with any truly scary situation, her knees give out and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of it. Fear and do state. My US 16. She don't look 16, bro. She looks fucking 14, bro. A 16 year old student, Kizaragi High, class 2 nights, somehow looks much thinner than she actually is, but possesses a big heart and a brave personality. So, since she's smaller, she can get through it places? I don't know. Accepts anyone and everyone with open arms, never playing favorites, which has earned her nearly universal regard amongst her fellow students. Unfortunately, due to familial, familial circumstances, this was Mayu's last day at uh, High. She'll be moving shortly and transferring to a new school. Holy shit. That's everyone. Nine characters. Unless we can count this eyeball as a character. Any character introductions are returned to the game? Yes. Come on, Naomi. Let's go. Right. Alright, I'm gonna take a break, by that I'm just gonna quickly use the washroom, and we'll be right back.
Wunderschön. schön. Ja. Alright. We got Naomi and Psycho. Wait a sec. Eek, another earthquake? No. Oh, is it over? Phew. I've had enough. Let's just get the... I can't even read that. What, what's wrong? This hallway looks so different than it did before. Maybe the earthquake made more of the floor collapse? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Ew, don't say that. Do you feel gasoline, maybe? Yeah, who the fuck is messaging me, bro? I'm getting like spam fucking message. What's Brent? This is all one room right here. The gap is relatively narrow here. It seems crossbow, but it's supposed to be wide to risk jumping. Okay, is there anything I can pick up off the ground? Maybe? Is there like a plank of wood anywhere I could use? Uh, hey Nami, hmm? Is something wrong with your leg? Oh yeah, I was so freaked out I forgot all about it. I think I sprained my ankle when I fell. Well, that's not good. Will you be okay? I can walk at least, I'm sure, if you'll on its own. Yeah, but you shouldn't push yourself. You know my shoulder, okay? Okay, thanks. The shelves are filled with overflowing and long black hairs. This door in the back of the room just so. Uh, Is there something on the other side of the room? What's this? If you should encounter any dead ends, be sure to examine any spot on the walls before nearby seem particular to you. I appreciate the device. The There's a loose board here lying. Yes. This board, a plank of wood. We got an item. I think I think we gotta use it here. Try it. Wait, hold nah son. That achievement just gave me four gamer score, bro. What? No. Hmm, this candle. I can sort of seen it before. I'm safe. Save out a candle.
such tiny shoes. This really wasn't an elementary school, huh? You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Yeah, I forgot your father's working late tonight, isn't he? Yep, all those mouths to feed don't come cheap after all. And while that's working to put some food on them, I got to... Uh, yeah, I guess you and them are still little kids. Somebody would be around. I'm not sure I feel about that statement. <clears throat> Just have to get back to them, though. It's the same for you two. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. We'll make it back uh, one way or another. We'll get out of this place. You bet. I didn't even know this was for shoes. Entrance way. The heavy door is, fir is firmly shut. Seems unlikely or unwilling to open for normal means. Oof. No good. It won't budge. Didn't feel like it gave at all. In fact, I don't think I'd be able to force it open. Man, so close. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I'd even get to read what the fuck is that bitch son. Corpse party. Wait, hold up. Can we go back and pick up our old board? Let's try that. If uh, we can keep picking up the board and reusing it. Would make sense. Bro. Did I just throw? I think I threw a bin. Oh, good though. Let's try here. I don't want to go in there. Fuck it, bro. Jesus died for our sins. Message from Define Might. <laughs> bro, it's always these jeepers, man. Is that bones? Ah, what's wrong, Naomi? Look over there. Aren't those bones like people bones? Oh. Why is there a dead person here? Wait, let me look more closely. Maybe they're not real. Oh, I thought that bitch jumped down. They really are somebody's bones. You too. You turn new victims, are you not? A ghost? Who are you? I was brought here against my will. You can find just like you. This is a cursed, uh, multi-dimensional nexus, multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another, created by powerful, vengeful spirits, closed space, or perhaps closed spaces. You, and as well as the unlucky victims, all... Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here up sensing numerous others. 
So our friends in the school too? I don't know the exact number, but I know others will pull into the space at the same time as you. They're all definitely in this school. Rashid is here too. However, you cannot meet them. They're definitely in the school. Space differs from the space we occupy. If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or barging them into an, the space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible. But... I don't know. All I know is the effort. You can at least live your days together. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are much greater working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. Don't end up like us. Bro, she's just a little girl. She's just minding her own business. She was just looking at us. Are you alright, psycho? Yeah, what about that child spirit? It did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there first time I ever seen something like that. I just don't understand any of this. Mike and I were stuck in here. Hey, Picky. <laughs> Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior. Get closer. Before. I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? Hey, back to the beautiful beat. Classroom three are the doors locked. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, we'll get the board to go there. Fuck it, let's see some let's see some shit. Science hub dorm seems almost like a model. Oh god. Oh 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 god, what the heck is this? It's horrifying. It's just somebody was thrown from the other side into the hall. And just splattered everywhere. It's almost so meaty. What is this room? Infirmary. <gasps> no, go back up. There's this thing. Another plank. Yes.
We're going upstairs now, okay. Are we being followed? I don't like that. What's this? There's a calm that was me and along with Magus. You. Boys room to the left, girls room at the end of the hall. The men's bathroom. Even turning the hand all the way, not a drop of water. The smell of normal is <laughs> almost staggering here. That was either an actual voice or okay. <laughs> I was just fucking with someone using the washroom. Check the women's washroom. It won't open. Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance, you know? The smeary stuff. Wait, what? Any of that ass medicine? Huh? What again? Yep, my butt's been drier than the desert since we got here. I I feel her. I won't lie, bro. I got dry ass skin too. My fucking shoulders. Bad, drier than motherfucker. Well, I got some antibacterial cream. That'll work. Thanks, I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. Hey, yo! you have any shame at all? That's what I'm saying! Did we beat that bitch? Big bro, too. This is the women's washroom, so let's go check up on her. Check it out. Oof. That was a close one. My leg, thanks for lending me a hand, no problem. You lean on my shoulder. Hey, definitely not. If we had that finding a way out. Where's my girl Yuka? And thoughts to yourself. Ooh, what's this? The fate that awaits you from here is a cruel one indeed. If you should get stuck and lose hope, the answer may lie in your past. Relive it. You may simply miss the one thing you really. Onward reality. 
Oh, so it's basically saying don't be scared to backtrack. At least that's what I think it's saying. Uh, there was so close. Paper on the floor. Out to some lake, brother. On close inspection is an ID name attached to uniform. Okay, I guess fuck me then. I can't read. But everyone that I go with them. So I haven't been left behind. It hurts. It hurts so much. Looks like they really have been a lot of different people brought here. Well, we ain't dying here. I'm on the other side. What's up, bro? If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by the other victims who died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts, it hurts so much. Thank you, brother. Lots of them. My head is splitting, it's unbearable. I can't take it, I can't take it, I can't take it. When we found Yuzaha's body, I saw a black shadow, but I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm sorry everyone, I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is a thick layer of dried blood. There are skeletal remains of a sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be middle schooler. Looking close, you can see the student ID. Bro, I can't read them fucking IDs fast enough. Basement, this door's nailed shit, definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any, circum any circumstances, Principal Takami. Alright, big dog. What's over here? Ooh. I'm coming over to get you. Familiar? It moved. Hold on. What's up, bro? Someone else's thoughts echo in your head. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location, find the exact spot where it once stood, and examine it thoroughly. Alright, brother, you don't need to give me a fucking essay. We come back comes to the front. So how about one of us waits so it jumped here. Name tag was Black Log. Oh my god, bro, it goes far. Inventory. Temp save. Create temporary save data? No. Alright, wait here. I don't know how to make her bitch ass wait there. Is it this probably so good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Wait there, whore. Wait, if not, it's right there, okay. I think I did it because the blue thing disappeared. Yeah. Here we go, almost got it. 
Huh? Gotcha. You did a nice job. You're gonna have to be this. Infirmary key. Shiny metallic. Ooh. <laughs> Make a great team. Alright, now let's check this poor soul. A crumpled up note from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koda. Koido. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never be rescued. I thought we were friends. Hey, yo, that thing look got some cake. Skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull. Kinda fucked up. Not gonna lie. There is a handwritten letter on the floor. Uh. Ugh, I'm a goner. I'm a goner. Sis. The tenons in my the tenons in my ankle have been have been cut really bad. The bleed just won't stop. Please don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hopes that you can use this information to keep yourself safe. First of all, first, all the windows and doors and outside walls are, uh, of the school are completely immovable. You can't open them, and you can't break them, you can't burst, bust them down. Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, though, like the hall windows, the classrooms, can be affected to some extent or another. Second, just as some people are inherently good or bad natured, some of the ghosts in here are good while others are quite nasty. The more kind and gentle go uh, spirits shed a pale blue light. So that one girl was nice. While the less savior types in blood red glow like fire. It hurts. Having the tenants and the heel of your sliced out is exhilarating. I'd rather my feet be cut off altogether than have to bear this pain. My only uh, solace is knowing that when I die, it will stop hurting. But sis, before I go, I want you one more time. I want to hug you. I don't want to die alone, sis. I don't want to die at all. I'm scared. My dear sis. Paper becomes Poor bastard. But imagine, bro, imagine being in like this situation in real life. I got the infirmary key. I love how the music resets each time. So we're done over here for now. It hurts, it hurts so much. I told everyone that I that I go with them. Oh, we've already read that. You don't really want to step to Da Vinci. Okay, we just unlocked that. Let's go save real quick. I remember there was a save thing over here. Yeah, it was in here, right? 
Yeah. Let's go check out the infirmary. Too bad you can't fucking run. All right, law tome. What's in here? A pair of scissors. Ooh, scissors. Okay. Medicine tonics lined up. Okay, okay. Extra save wouldn't hurt. Oh, somehow I expect the beds to be a lot more dustier. As far as they clean, that's really good. Actually, I feel that. It's not my, more safe, but like, I feel like if I sleep at the, in the corner of my bed, like two walls. I don't know, it just feels nice, like, more natural. More like, yeah, I guess, more safe. Exact. Don't thank me, I haven't done anything yet. Make sure splint and some bandages. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up, how's it feel? Thank you. You're welcome. I spent badly before too, so I know how you feel. Glad you agree. It's slumber for me. Oh, that's cute. So, hey, Naomi. Hmm? If we find Moshida, have you thought about what you want, want to do with him? Yeah? Well, you know what they say when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say? It often leads to love, sweet love, a hey, yo. You should well up your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place, and your cuteness factor. Three times the size of the hands eyes a bit. Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. I hope we find him soon. You kind of don't though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to put through, didn't have to be put through all this. Must be the maternal instincts of yours kicking, huh? You're a deep one to be sure. She may, she may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Yes, there's no fooling, psycho. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. Later. Sorry, it's just that. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when I see that ass, so here's I start to drool. You're so weird. You stay here in rest, okay? And since don't work, just keep that ass part on that bed. God. <laughs> I love Psycho, bro. She's so fucking funny. My ankle really does feel a lot better, Psycho. Miss you, guys.
So I couldn't see what I was grabbing. You're lucky, you're so cute. Bro, what? That's so gay. On close inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed. What? Great. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, no wonder. Those children? Let's all go on a field trip together over the summer. My head hurts so bad I can't stop the throwing in my ears. The door is laced with countless strands of black hair rooting in its place. Oh, the scissors! Is someone there? It sounds like a ball pen. Bro, where are the scissors? Um, the shirt begins appearing in the journal and the desk written by unseen hands. The letters are so mishappened and however. Have you come to find me? Sachi. Wait, what? Okay. There's no question that this my eleven force continuous death is inevitable. What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do? not gonna hurt me? It's an old fashioned space here, it's so full of ash I'll probably never light again. A box of matches on the ground next to it. Take them? Yes. Box of matches. Oh! strong enough to do any significant damage. Okay, that won't work. Actually, let's read that again. A loose box matches near an old-fashioned space here. There's still quite a few left. 
trying to look to see what I could fucking use it on. Try one last time. Isn't there any super flammable thing in here? Is there anything flammable? I'm trying to look around while this bitch is chasing me. There's these. Oh fuck, that thing does damage, son! That shit does damage, bro! What the fuck is flammable in here, bro? The blood? I died. The black mist begins flowing into Naomi's blood through her nose and now her ear. Ooh. <laughs> the last thing ever sees. Oh. I'm dead? Uh. <sighs> what? Okay, I was about to say, bro, no way I'd... Okay, before I do anything, what's flammable in here? Is blood flammable? What the fuck is flammable in here, bro? Wood? Wash your hands with soap. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't care. Oh, maybe that's why. What the fuck did this just say? Bad, a medicine tonics lineup. Alright. Sad. 
So we're gonna do this again. Alright. I don't recall there being blood there, so we're gonna go here. Yes. Rubbing alcohol. Okay, hold up. Okay, come down here. I'm actually so quick with it, it hurts. Retarded. Now section rubbing alcohol. Let's set that shit ablaze. Suck my dick. Respectfully. Hairy situation is the achievement. I'm going to kill you. Try and kill me, you fuck. In the utter panic, I began to run as fast as I if you would hear me. Since I have no memory of where or what I was doing this time, I just ran these days. When I regained my sense, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. It's not gonna be her. Let's check my, the men's bathrooms. Alright, fuck you too then. The news, bro. You, you hold her up, push her up, bro. What the fuck do I use as a platform? Bucket. <laughs> a filthy bucket. Go, son. Go, go, go. Before homeboy psycho dies. Did she kill herself or did someone fucking kill her? <laughs> Bro, this shit's rough. Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Don't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Oh, 
These are friendly spirits, right? They're blue. Wait, somehow, somehow or another, Naomi found herself with a large pair of scissors in her hand. Her mouth was a gave the shoes all I open. Are they strangling me? I can feel the scissor blade clip between my more lars. What am I doing? Why would I try to swallow? Wait, why would I try to pop? The kids killed her, bro. She got fucked up by a bunch of fucking toddlers. Just like I did. Did I die? Bro. I'm just trash. Alright, gents. That's gonna be it for tonight. I'm gonna go to fucking bed. I'm tired as fuck. It's 3.10 in the morning. I will do another... I'm prob... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do another corpse... I'm gonna do a longer corpse party stream tomorrow. Have a good one, y'all. Good night. And maybe consider following. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. God the Goose underscore gaming. 13 something. Stop and have a